We spent a lot of time on this channel ripping on religion, for good reason, but there are a lot of things that churches actually do really well, and we could learn a lesson from that. Churches have personality branding. Sometimes it's just easier to connect with a person rather than an abstract idea. I mean, how many people in 2008 voted for Barack Obama because they loved everything he stood for, even if on any other occasion they could care less about politics, they could care less about the Democratic Party? Sometimes it's important to have that face of atheism out there rather than just think that, oh, if I just give you some good arguments for why you shouldn't believe in God, that'll do the trick. No, that's not going to do the trick for everybody. The messenger matters. We know atheism has a stigma, but sometimes if you know someone, you like someone, you trust someone who happens to be an atheist, you may be more likely to follow what they do. I mean, think about this. Daniel Radcliffe, who played Harry Potter, and Ricky Gervais, who started The Office, they're both outspoken atheists. They say as much in interviews everywhere. And they may have convinced more people to become atheists or to question their faith than anything, you know, Sam Harris might have ever done. Because you just like them when you see them, and the messenger makes a difference. I know we're atheists, I know we like to rely on our arguments and the logic, but we have to realize it's not like Christians are walking around saying, this is why God exists. There are only a handful of people that do that. They have a separate genre. They're called like apologists. But for most people, it's like, oh, Pastor Rick Warren, Pastor Joel Osteen. I like those guys. I like what they say, and I want to be on their team. Well, guess what? If you want to get people into that fold, that atheism fold, sometimes it helps having someone you can latch on to who can help guide you in that direction. Personalities matter. And by the way, all of you watching this video, you're all ambassadors for atheism, whether you like it or not. So just remember that. And I'm not saying everyone has to be this happy, smiling, friendly atheist. You can sometimes be effective and be very blunt and very, uh, very much aggressive. But keep that in mind when you're talking to someone. If you're trying to convince them to not believe in God, some people are only going to respond in certain ways. And you should, you should at least think about that. I'm not saying we should copy the church. There, believe me, there are lots of things we don't want to do, just like them. But we also have the luxury of knowing what they do that we really hate, and we can avoid all that. We can learn a lot from Christian churches, from what they do well, about how to get our own message across. And maybe if we, you know, followed some of these pastors, we could actually do ourselves a favor. My name is Hemant Mehta, and I write at FriendlyAtheist.com. Please leave a comment below, and we will be sure to check it out.